This is Daniel with Family God and Country. Uh, back to do another video here. And this one we're going to look at our everyday carry for our vehicle. Um, this is everything that I would carry for an situ uh, emergency situation in my vehicle, uh, whatever that situation may be. The only things I'm not showing here that I carry in my vehicle all the time are tools, uh, general tools for working on your vehicle, uh, tire iron. I don't have my water here. I do carry a case of water in there and spare tire extra fuel stuff like that i don't have laid out here this is just more focusing on the outdoor side of it the survival side of it uh, we'll start with the bag first um, and we'll get into this in a minute but this is a basically a 72 hour bag um, has everything in there i'd need to get by uh, probably two people to get by if we had to uh, and we'll get more into the bag here in a minute also, I have this, I always carry this military shovel in there with me. Uh, this is a real old one, probably from World War II, I would guess. You can see there. Got some oxidation and stuff on it. I don't have the sheath for the outside of this. This just stays in the back of my Forerunner. In case I need, you know, you never know when you're going to need one. Next thing sitting right next to it here. This is a 100% wool blanket. Queen size. I believe this was Israeli made. I actually got this as a gift um, you can find them at surplus stores sometimes you can't it is hard to find the 100% wool anywhere for the right price next thing here is a firearm this is a high point model c9 9 millimeter and I know as soon as I said high point I'm gonna get a lot of people laughing and that and this and that um, I am going to do a separate video on this gun, so we're not going to get too far into it. But I do want to do a whole separate video talking about this weapon and why it's in here and what I think about it and is it worth the money. Also, uh, just a first aid kit from Walmart or or the like, something like that. Uh, I believe this one was 20 bucks. I'm not, basically everything you need to get by. Next thing, and this is usually is in my toolbox. I got this out just to show. Uh, almost every kit that I have has a roll of bank line in it. I believe this is number 36 bank line. Uh, also in my toolbox, I usually always have a roll of Gorilla Tape and a roll of electrical tape, uh, just depending on what you need. Next thing here, this is just a standard MRE. This one is pork sausage patty maple flavored and this is just a pair of uh, standard leather work gloves these are actually welding gloves that I got from work but uh, I keep those in there all the time usually again they're usually in my toolbox but I wanted to get those out just to show that it's handy to have those um, if you gotta get out and work on something if your car breaks down something you think you can fix it's nice to have gloves especially when it's cold so real quick before we get into what's inside this kit uh, we'll look at the outside real fast and I'll give you guys an idea first of all this this backpack I got this at Walmart um, this isn't a high-end 511 pack or anything like that it's just a standard backpack style it does have molly webbing on the side which I thought was cool and it also has the same thing on the front that's what this condor pouch is attached to that's also what this uh, canteen is attached to I do have a Mora emergency style knife there on the outside and I have this water bottle or this canteen here this is a US issue canteen uh, with the actual you can see it's stamped US there and this one is the metal one and I actually do have a nesting cup to match it which sometimes these are kind of hard to find on the front it usually stays empty like I said I usually carry water a case of water in my vehicle but if I ever need to leave or go on the move from my vehicle I want to make sure that I can that I have a container uh, not only for drinking purposes but also to uh, something that's able to boil water and cook my food for me if need be so that's why I carry that on there also on the outside over here on the side I just have a Gerber uh, multi-tool. This is a, a quick open multi-tool here with the pliers on it. Uh, it's got a knife. Your standard uh, multi-tool stuff. Uh, 
screwdriver, bottle opener, everything like that. And that just stays on the outside pocket here. And then I've just got a wad of nylon rope down in this one pocket uh, just in case for ridge lines, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get into the inside. Okay guys, we're sitting here a little closer, zoomed in. Let's take a look at this Condor bag. I have that Ruko knife. I figured I'd give you a little closer look at that here. See it's got the blade lock on the back there. And the assist open. It's a really, really solid, sturdy knife. Like I said, it's got the glass breaker on the back. Um, it's got the seat belt cutter. Comes very, very sharp right out of the box. I believe this is about a $30 knife or so. Um, I'm really happy with it. And then this Condor back little pouch here. I'm not going to go through the uses of everything I have in here. This is kind of a ditty bag, uh, possibles pouch. So the first thing in here right on the top is this is a U.S. military. Uh, this was a first aid kit pouch and that's what I use it as. It's just got some different first aid stuff. Mostly bandages and gauze and stuff like that. I've got to light my fire eating utensil with a spork and a spoon. I've got one of these emergency whistles. It's also got a little tiny first serum rod on there. It's got a compass here and just some emergency emergency matches in a waterproof case. I wouldn't use them unless I really need really needed to. I've got a roll of small diameter cable here, uh, perfect for using for setting snares and stuff like that. Then I have a pack of snares, uh, rabbit sized snares. I believe there's four of them in there. Next I have this. I'll just show you real quick here. This is a Swiss or German. I can't believe, remember. I got this all cheaper than dirt. Um, and this is a sewing kit. And it came with. I added some. Like I said everything I got has bank line. I added a hank of bank line in there. But it just came with some different threads. There's two or three different threads in there. It came with some buttons. Uh, different size buttons and came with a pair of sh little shears there um, it did come with some needles and some safety pins I've since added some more needles uh, some more thread stuff like that but I believe I paid like two bucks for these and I bought five or six of them when I bought that because I thought that was a really good deal for that next thing we have in here is my headlamp uh, it's got the red it's got the white bunch of different settings on it real handy to have especially if you're working on a vehicle or walking or doing whatever down in the bottom here I got a couple different tools I've got a diamond rod knife sharpener here Duke stop it diamond rod knife sharpener here and just a small little multi-tool one of my kids gave me go lay down also another uh, Swiss Army type knife. Uh, this is a knockoff brand. This is also something one of my children gave me that I like to carry. Got a compass on the front of it there. I've got a fishing kit here. Uh, this has got hooks, lines, sinkers, um, bobber. Uh, you use the outside as a rod. It's got some fishing line on the outside of it there. Wrapped in Gorilla Tape and a band. In the very bottom here, and this is just in a little pouch. I've got a military grade uh, lensatic compass. Down the very bottom I just have a real cheap uh, sharpening stone for a blade. Okay, so moving on to the the main pack for our vehicle everyday carry. Uh, you can see I talked about the Mora that I carry on the outside of it. You can see that there. This is the one that's got the finger guard. I can't remember exactly what model that one is. But in our top pocket here I have another first aid kit. Uh, this is just one I bought at Walmart. It's got a bunch of band-aids and ibuprofens, Tylenols, um, Neosporin, stuff like that. Alright, and right on top I have another MRE. Uh, this one's spicy chicken with black beans. Next thing, easy to get to, is my fire kit. 
this is a separate fire kit from my buffalo bag uh, got a lot of the same things in it really I got tenders and strike force stuff like that in there I'm not going to get into all the detail in there and in this one actually I think I have one in here yeah I have another magnesium rod there and then I also actually have a flint and steel in here just for toying around with when I'm down by the pond or something like that I'll get that out and mess with that for cover elements I have a I believe this is an 8x8 uh, it is a mylar reflective on one side and bright orange on the other side for people to see you um, uh, most of the time I use that as a ground cover. I've got a spool of 550 paracord here, probably 100 feet. I've got a big 12 by 12, uh, just a polyurethane or polyethylene, whatever it is, tarp that I'll use for cover. And it is this one is camouflage here, you can see. Here, you can see I've got it marked for convenience of looking at it, uh, finding it, food rations. And in here I basically just have some MRE stuff. Uh, I've got some drink powders, some crackers, uh, some coffees, a couple pieces of uh, the candy and gum that come in there. And in the bottom here I have a military 100% wool scarf and it does it is the tube style uh, you can wrap this around your head wrap it around your face wrap it around your neck uh, there's a lot of different configurations you can wear this thing in I use this a lot uh, I have a couple of these oh, and it is the OD green like you can see I'll use that for hunting uh, anything and it's good to have an emergency too And I also have a pair of 100% wool glove liners. Uh, these ones are actually military issue. You can see the stamp on them there. These ones are pretty old. Uh, they still work well. And I also have a 100% wool. I'm a big believer in wool. Works good when it's wet. This is a 100% wool watch cap that I carry in there. Well, thanks for watching our video today on our uh, EDC for our vehicle. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any suggestions or anything, please leave a comment and subscribe if you like it. Uh, look forward to more videos coming out. We're going to be doing a lot more outdoor stuff. Uh, been having some bad weather out here lately, but as soon as the weather turns, we are going to get into quite a bit more outdoor stuff. We're going to be doing some trapping, uh, doing some homestead videos. We've got a lot of different stuff coming up. So if you like it, please subscribe and I appreciate it.